Hi everyone. I'm at the Cracker Barrel. I wanted to show you my shirt. Yeah, I'm a big fan of ACDC. I would film inside, but they'd probably throw me out. But I love the Cracker Barrel. My friend wanted to know, what is the one thing you want to do? I go, I want to go to the Cracker Barrel. That's what I want to do. It is hot. Oh, geez. So I dropped off my car. I have a dash cam and I watched someone almost hit my friend. Of course, it's all on camera, pulled right out in front of her, didn't even look. Then we pull into the Cracker Barrel and someone also does the same thing to her. It's like there's a target on her car. But I slept good last night, that's a good thing. And I got to see my little sister. Shout out to you, Melanie. Uh, she's a little hard of hearing and she said that she can do closed captioning, but I don't understand if it's something I have to do on YouTube or does she do it on her TV? So I need to look into that because everybody on my mother's side is hard of hearing. Yeah, I think it's a hereditary. It's like people never see someone with a telephone. Well, let's just hope my car is ready this evening. If not, my boss is going to be a little mad, but I've tried to coordinate everything. Oh, geez. Yeah, and people don't realize when I used to live up in Northern Virginia, it was in the late 60s and early 70s, it is nothing like it used to be. So all you smart asses who say, what do you mean? You can't recognize the places you used to live? No, I cannot. Because I lived on Oakton Road, that place is leveled. I lived on Vale Road, they remodeled that house. And the other house I lived on in Oakton where the Zook store used to be in the 60s, that now is a barbecue place. So yeah, it's very hard to recognize places back 40 years ago, so, but. Uh, I better get off now. People are looking at me funny. Say, bye.